This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. It is early February, 1851. An emigrant wagon, covered with a weathered canopy of canvas, and drawn by two teams of malnourished oxen, has just left Maricopa Wells and the northern reaches of the Mexican state of Sonora. Driven by a 42-year-old farmer from Illinois named Roy Zotman, the wagon heads west onto a desert plateau, covered with rough gravel, thickets of mesquite and palo verde, and occasional stands of saguaro cactus. In the wagon with Oatman are his 38-year-old wife, Mary Ann, and their seven children, ranging in age from two years to 17. Mary Ann Oatman is expecting the birth of an eighth child within a few days, so she keeps to her seat, shading her eyes from the sun, and attempting to conserve her strength for the ordeal that lies ahead. For eight days the Oatmans travel alone. All of their former companions, men, women, and children in wagons like their own, who were with them when they set out from Independence, Missouri six months earlier, have abandoned the journey, unwilling to go on with them into the forbidding desert. By February 15, the Oatmans reached the southern bank of the Gila River, the sandy waterway that then marks the border between Mexico and the United States. Three days later, they find themselves atop a rocky cliff above the river, pausing to share a late afternoon meal before pushing on to their ultimate destination, the confluence of the Gila and Colorado Rivers, 120 miles to the west. As the family is finishing its meal on that fateful February 18, a band of Indians approaches on foot. After some discussion with Roy's Oatman, the Indians attack the family with clubs, killing Roy's, Mary Ann, and four of their children. One boy, 14-year-old Lorenzo, is badly bloodied and left for dead. He manages to return to Maricopa Wells and tell the white people there what has happened. Meanwhile, two of his sisters, 13-year-old Olive and 8-year-old Mary Ann, are taken captive and led away into the nearby mountains.